In the recent boom with streaming, the necessity for things like mics has increased. People want good peripherals like mics to use for their stream. On top of that, people might want to use these mics for things like their Zoom calls or work meetings as well. So companies, loads of companies have invested in creating really good quality mics. We have here the Razer Siren Mini, which is a fantastic mic made by Razer. And for its price point, it's pretty good quality. We've also got the Rode NT-USB Mini, which is again, a very good mic at a pretty decent price. My personal favorite are the Elgato Wave mics. I own an Elgato Wave 3, just, just kind of up there, you can see it. And, and that's the mic I personally like to use. Now recently, I was contacted by a company called Fifine. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Fifine, Fifine, something like that. And they sent me this K658 microphone, which is labeled as a recording, streaming, podcast, and gaming. They sent me this microphone to do an unboxing and review of. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. What's up guys, it's Kyle24, back at your screens. And yesterday I am gonna be unboxing this Fifine K658 USB streaming microphone. This was sent to me by the company itself um, they are based in China. They asked me whether I'd be happy to do a review of their brand new microphone and I was of course more than obliged to do so. Small disclaimer, this video is courtesy of Fifine who sent me this microphone to do the review on. However, they will not be seeing the review before I release it. They'll see it the same time as you guys see it. However, I'm gonna place a link to this microphone, an Amazon link to the microphone in the description box below. If you guys wanna pick one up, it is an affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of commission off of that. And of course, Fifine get an increase in their little sales. So the first thing I wanna point out is that the box build quality is pretty good. It feels very nice and solid, and it doesn't feel like that anything inside of it is gonna be kind of bouncing around anywhere. It looks really high quality, you know, it's been printed really nicely. You've got this, uh, this glossy print of the microphone here on top of the box, uh, which the rest of is matte. And um, just overall, you guys can see for yourselves, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna get my nice little cutting tool here and just cut that apart and cut that apart. We're gonna put that aside and let's just, come on, a thousand years later. It's stuck, it's stuck. No, there we go. And there you go. Oh, you've got some nice little kind of uh, fabric. I don't know what that is, fabric inside you got the user manual which is very helpfully in english as well um, and then you've got the rest of the microphone and the additional accessories inside so we're going to start with the uh, additional accessories that it comes with so here you have a usb microphone uh, microphone it is a microphone here you have a cable a usb c to usb a cable i'm gonna put that in the box there then you've got a little stand it's a shock mount stand and uh, I presume additional attachments and adapters for boom arms. Here we have what is the shock mount itself. So you can pop the mic into the shock mount and a thread, I'm guessing, to attach the... Uh... Aha, the thread here to attach the... I don't know what that does. I'll, I'll figure it out later. This does something. So moving on to the microphone itself, Picking it up, it feels it feels pretty solid, you know. Um, in my hand, it feels pretty nice and solid. This is you've got a you've got a gain dial here at the front, so this actually helps you control the volume, the gain of your audio output. And here at the bottom, you've got your thread with the USB and mic monitoring options at the bottom. So you've got your USB cable goes into the bottom right there, and then you've got your mic monitoring that happens just there you can plug a uh, 3.5 millimeter mic jack into that it looks like here it's a brightness button this is an rgb um this is an rgb mic so you do have rgb lights on it and you've got this button which i presume is to control the level of brightness now i haven't plugged this in i don't know what the audio quality is but you've got the top of the mic here with a nice kind of foam covering uh to i'm presuming dampen surround sound so looking at the instructions in order to put this mic into the stand it is this side up so what you do is you pop that in there then you take this and then you just thread it on i'm presuming come on there you go 
that's pretty clever no no funny kind of kind of wires or anything like that that is going to prevent you from there you go that actually fits on really nice and tight and it's you don't have any of those funny wires going around you do here but this shock mount basically just fits the mic up really nicely like that and you've got the boom arm and your stand can go into there so if i take the stand out put that on see how easy it is there you go it's actually just as easy as that you just pop that in screw that in like that perfect and then and then we can just place that there and that's it you've got pretty nice standing shock mount stand for the mic right here honestly the build quality wise i've seen worse i used to have a toner microphone which was quite heavy but it was really annoying it had the attachments at the bottom but it was this old usb i think usb b i don't even know what type of usb input it was but it was this really strange kind of usb input and it would um it was just kind of get in the way and it was really loose and weird I, I don't know i didn't like it the sound quality from that thing wasn't amazing either um and uh, inevitably broke after a little while so compared to that this is quite good the fact that it's also rgb and it has your gain control right here at the front is a massive bonus for me because having your gain control is so important especially if you really want to you know if you're mid game and you really want to just turn yourself down because you want to talk to somebody somebody's come in or turn yourself up because your chat can't hear you properly and you just want to quickly tweak it so that your voice is a little bit louder or for kind of comedic effect just make it really loud and completely kill your chat's ears there's so many kind of uh, uses for having your gain control right there on the microphone you can just easily reach out and just toggle that so that you've got um your game changes and the fact that it's rgb is obviously pretty cool for all of you rgb lovers out there you know you've got nice little light display going on which you guys can't see right now because well i can't see right now because i haven't plugged this thing in so we're going to plug it in very quickly and we're just going to see what it looks like with rgb on so you've got i've got my laptop and i'm just going to plug that in there just here to the side and then where are the wires wires there we go here are the wires ah it's a USB-C to a USB-A so that's a little bit annoying I'm gonna see if I can get a USB-C to USB-C cable back in a jiffy so here I've got USB-C to USB-C cable because of course Macs don't have a USB-A input which is really really still really annoying be very helpful if they did Just pop that in and there you go there's kind of your RGB I don't know if you guys can see that but there's your RGB lighting you can see your kind of gain control there it doesn't change color when you do that but you do have your rgb lighting and i guess oh it's it's literally just a toggle and it's touch this this is a touch based toggle look look at that so you touch it there turns it on touch it there turns it off on off and it's just a single pulsing rgb unless the instruction manual says otherwise uh preferences duh, duh, duh. Uh, oh you can just literally mute yourself by touching the front there you go it's gone red yeah so touch the front so it's all touch control which is pretty good that's very good it's all nice and touch controlled so i mean there is that chance you're accidentally going to mute yourself by pressing on that but then again the wave uh mic still got a wave mics the bottom of that is touch control as well so you just touch that and it mutes itself or not um or the top depending on the orientation and uh, I don't think there is an option to, uh, you know, it has instructions on how to kind of set it up and everything in here, which is really good. It's all Windows based instructions, so it might be different if you've got a Mac. And um, it's literally the RGB button is just whether it's on or off. That's that's all it does. It turns it on or off. So if I just pop that, it turns it on. And it's just a nice pulsing RGB light. That's literally all it is. So if I just kind of turn some of these lights off all right there we go so i've just turned most of the lights off just so you guys can see the kind of rgb effects a little bit i've got one light on this corner here but there you go just got a little bit of rgb coming from the bottom there and to be honest it doesn't look too bad it's not as ugly as i had thought the whole thing doesn't light up it's just 
few light strips on the bottom that pulse. Um, I kind of like that. Anyway, I'm going to turn the lights back on because I can imagine that the quality of this isn't going to be very good with the low light. And the back. So, build quality wise, I actually really like it. I mean, the stand could be a little bit more centralized and not as flimsy in my opinion. So, you know, if I had something like that and I tug it a bit forward, it's just going to go collapsing like that. Literally, it's just going to fall forward but if you're going to be putting this on a boom arm then you probably don't need to worry about that because it will just kind of be hanging from a boom arm and that, that's it you're all good to go so that's the build quality i think it's pretty good for the price that it comes here which is just above 100 pounds you know you're getting quite a lot of accessories with it you've got rgb built in you've got a gain control at the front you've got touch controls for your light and mute options on the mic itself so you can control stuff from the mic itself I don't know what the setup process is going to be like just yet. And I don't know what the mic is going to sound like. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little break. You guys, see what I mean? It just fell. It just fell. See, so I'm going to just pop it upwards like that so that it doesn't end up falling again. So, yeah, we're going to go and take a little break. And I'm going to go and play around with this, do a few sound tests, chuck on some mic monitoring, do a few recordings, show you guys. You guys can make a decision for yourself, see if it actually sounds any good or not. And uh, yeah, and then we'll continue from there. See you in a bit. One hour later. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your break because I am back and I have recorded a little bit and kind of listened back with the mic monitoring on and off and you know, just kind of played around with the mic a little bit. And I gotta say, I'm quite impressed. I'm, I'm quite impressed with the quality uh, of this mic. I mean, in comparison to what I was expecting, it's it's done a lot better. So a couple of things that I wanna, I wanna mention, um, and I will kind of switch the audio into using this mic directly. Uh, so um, the gain control works amazingly. I found that obviously on lower gain, it did um, sound a little bit more natural. It wasn't as echoey, blah, 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 but that's that's kind of expected. So if you up the gain, obviously you, it's a lot louder. It's nice and having that gain control right there is pretty good. When you're mic monitoring, there is zero to no delay. So you're pretty much hearing yourself back straight away. It does still pick up kind of environmental noise. There's no active noise cancelling or anything like that. Have if you do have an RTX system and you've got Nvidia broadcast, then that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Without kind of faffing around too much, you guys listen for yourself. So I'm gonna put my headphones on and we're gonna switch into this mic and you're gonna see. So we're gonna go switching into it in about, just unmute that. So we're gonna switch into it in about three, two, one. And now what you're hearing is directly through the microphone. In the mic monitoring, I can hear this sounds very clear. So if I up the gain, you guys can see how much of a difference that makes directly. I'm, I'm sitting at a distance that I would probably usually sit from my mic. I'm not gonna have my mic right up to my face like this. That's 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 not how I would personally use a mic, but um, this is about the right kind of distance I would have my mic set if I was streaming or if I was in a call, this is the distance that I would have the mic set. So this is the kind of natural distance that you're hearing it from. So having the gain kind of turned up, kind of brace your ears, guys. This is what it sounds like. I'm talking relatively quietly and it's quite loud. So it's got quite a good input and you can obviously hear quite a lot of environmental noises. But if I reduce the gain down now, this is probably the kind of gain that I would have. And I'm kind of monitoring it here. I'm recording this through OBS because on the Mac, I can't find an easier way to do this. And it's kind of the, the easiest way to kind of bring you this. So the audio you're hearing is directly going into OBS, which is actually a good way of judging this because normally if you're streaming, this would go into a program like OBS and then be outputted on the other side. So having OBS record this is quite good. And I can also see the kind of gain volumes, um, the mix of volumes uh, on the screen and it's not peaking too much. Even if I turn it all the way up and I talk, it, it's only if I go really close that it peaks. So even if I'm at this kind of a distance, it's not peaking too much reduce that back down and it's not peaking at all it's kind of going up to that yellow level which is where you want your audio volume to be your input volume to be uh, when you're talking to your mic so that your audience can hear you quite clearly but you can hear it from yourselves guys this is not a bad quality microphone especially if you're using headphones you can probably hear that there's there might be a little bit of noise in the background but 90 percent of microphones are going to give you that much noise and um you know a little bit of eq and compression added on to this um before you actually start streaming and you know if you can get it to a good level with kind of 
uh, additional software tweaks, then I'm pretty sure this mic can sound really, really good. I am going to be doing a, a complete mic comparison. I'm, I'm going to switch over the audio. It's nice. I don't like having this headphone on. So switching back to the my Rode mic audio in three, two, one. And put that way. So um, I am going to be doing a comparison of the microphones that I have just to kind of show you guys like A, the differences uh, in the quality, if there is any. But right now, from what I'm hearing of this mic, it is very, very good quality. There's not a lot I can really fault. Uh, for about £110, what you're getting is what you see. Like literally what you see on the box is what you're getting. You're getting a pretty good quality condenser microphone. Have I heard better microphones? Yes, there are. Um, does that mean that this isn't cool depending on what you uh, what your preferences are? I think this is a pretty cool looking mic as well. I wouldn't mind having this hang from my uh, setup if it wasn't for the software functionality that the Wave uh, mics give, the Elgato Wave mics give, then um, this I wouldn't really mind having this uh, in one of my setups. So guys, that is the Fifine K658. Great build quality, um, nice RGB feature, nice touch controls i love the gain volume on this being massive i actually really like that um microphone looks nice it looks like a proper microphone you've got your input at the front at the top here um it is a dynamic condensed microphone and um, the stand build quality could be a little better i think the um the shock mount is nice um however the stand itself uh, could be a little bit well you know better built um if you have it on a boom arm not a problem uh, but otherwise Overall, it's a pretty good mic for £110. Is it worth the price? I think for what it comes with, um, the uh, packaging and everything, it's a pretty decent price. Quality wise, it absolutely makes sense that comes around that price point. Brilliant microphone. Thank you, Fifine, for sending this to me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful for you. If you are deciding to kind of go out and buy a microphone, something that has nice RGB um, at a pretty decent price point with some cool features, then this is definitely a good mic to go and pick up and it looks pretty cool. So I'll leave you to it, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. I'm going to move that out of the way. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos. In general, I can see that about 96, 97% of you are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps that you guys are watching and supporting the channel. Remember, links to the mic are in the description box below. So do hit that. That is a uh, affiliate link. So I do get a little bit of commission from that. And if you want to see when my next videos come out, then make sure you hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, this is Kayu24 signing out.